Um, so tap tap, and this spring event is just about over. Hopefully this isn't your first warning of that, because I didn't bother to make a video until it's like a day off. Um, but if you ever wondered why I don't say when the events are going to end, it's because they never tell us until it's a week out. Um, they're usually about 28 days uh, minimum in most cases. Hi, Parker. And... Um, I just thought I would go over a few things and talk about how I think the game is doing. And also this event schedule thing that, that gives you 100 gems. Uh, some people thought that that was like you spend 100 gems to get it, which I totally understand. They're, they're not very clear with the um, the things. I, I know somebody on Facebook who um, went into this and they're like, Oh, I got a bonus of 100 gems. And so every day they were spending a lot of gems in this menu because they thought they were getting them and they're like oh is this a bug and it's like <laughs> they're never very clear on that that's that's right parker i know i know um so yeah um and they, they won't take your candies so, so a lot of people actually lost their candies from the valentine's event even though they weren't supposed to what happened was with the valentine's day event on top of all of like the thing about the Valentine's Day event, it's like 10 different things that were all critical failures, totally avoidable critical failures on their part. Um, one of the one of the honestly more pathetic ones is they didn't remove the thing that erases your candy from the game until the week before it ended. Uh, that, that, that should have been really easy coding to remove because they just put it in for the new thing. It's not like it's not like they had it before. Like just just put it back the way it was. Um, just. <laughs> <laughs> remove a function and I'm sure it would have been fine um, but so if you didn't get that update before that deadline and you played the game without that update um, the game just ate your candies uh, probably silently and so a lot of people didn't get them so the only way to get those back is to message the devs on Facebook which to be honest they probably won't uh, reply in any way shape or form which is another one of those totally avoidable, avoidable problems they have uh, it's just, they, they really don't treat their customers well. It's a real shame. And so, on to major question of, well, I keep doing videos. Um, I do think I will keep doing videos for major events, which is pretty much where I was at before. I don't really play the game casually. I haven't, <laughs> I've pretty much only opened this app to make videos and to, uh, to run the macro a few times to get their, get their candies. Um, a little bit late to be mentioning this now, but yes, I would really, if you have access to a PC or Mac, you know, any kind of computer, um, definitely use this thing called Nox Tap Player. It's what I'm using right now. It's why I have the mouse. Uh, just search for Tap Tap Nox Player and you'll find the videos on it. It lets you do this thing. It turns out I can't demonstrate the macro in this video because it currently crashes my Nox app player and it doesn't seem to do that to anyone else, but I just have the absolute worst luck. If you've seen my recent streams, you're aware of that. Every every time I try to stream, there's some dumb issue and it's never really anything I can fix, so that's just great. Anyway, so videos will continue. My, my I'm certainly no evangelist of this game anymore. I, um very cross with the devs i don't hold any particular faith that the uh, switch version will be i mean as long as the switch version is premium there's no real reason for them to do nasty stuff uh, unless they have like you know paid plus microtransactions which would be the awful trifecta i'm not sure what the third bad thing is but i'm sure they'll find a third bad thing to do they they're good at finding those so yeah i'll make new videos on the new updates um i don't really recommend playing the game but for those who are addicted enough to uh to stick playing i i make these videos for you i don't make them for cheetah mobile i never made them for idea idle idea factory or any of that um just to make it very clear i've never had any contact with the devs other than one time out of four they replied to one of my messages um, when I missed, I lost some pearls when they first rolled out that feature. They sent me the pearls and then they sent me, okay, so two out of like four or five times. They they also sent me a form letter when uh, everyone was mad at the Valentine's Day event. I 
I had not only played it, and but also made a video on it and live streamed it, and they told me to wait until I played it because you know <laughs> they just copy and paste the same thing. Um, it, it seems almost like the, even they don't realize that they do phased rollouts for updates. It's kind of weird. Think of weird. They didn't. They didn't mention this event on their Facebook thing at all. Like they've just abandoned it. It's real sad. I, I've said many times. They, they could really hire like an English social media, any any language social media coordinator person. Um, they just, it's not really a language barrier issue, though they really could use somebody that speaks fluent English on staff. But like, their social media presence is really bad and it's not excusable by language barrier. They don't, they don't have like a, a Chinese or a uh, Korean community that they totally communicate well with. Um, yeah. By the way, for those confused, so the game is owned by Cheetah Mobile, who is Chinese. The original developers were South Korean, so that's why things get a little bit confusing. The the influence, who does, which parts are Cheetah Mobile and which parts are Idle Idea Factory, pretty unclear. Business, the way it usually goes is the people you know, responsible for the programming, uh, art assets, stuff like that. Those are the developers, the people responsible for the business decisions, and you know, most of the stuff people get mad at, those are the publishers, so, um, yeah. Um, as for the future of the game, uh, they seem to have slightly realized that the No Song of the Moon thing is a problem. They added a feature where you get uh, a thousand Sakura, but for doing the 5,000 taps a day thing, but like, that was already a really bad mission. I, I've complained about that in the past. 5,000 taps is a lot. Uh, some people have arthritis. Some people are at risk of getting arthritis. I have... Um, I'm a programmer at work, and I'm a gamer in my leisure time. Everything I do puts my wrists at, at like pretty severe risk, and uh, I wear compression gloves to, to bed to you know keep everything in order. I actually got those after this game because I was like, dang, this is kind of hurting my wrist. Um, and that's part of why I got this Nox app player thing so I can do the macro to save my wrists. It's... They just really don't seem to appreciate that that's like a genuine health risk. Like that's... It's really not cool to expect people to just destroy their wrists trying to get some dumb, you know, video game candy. Um, so... I also thought it was kind of pathetic. The um, so the the core problem of this event is that one tap equals one candy, uh, combined with the fact that it takes you can get 20 candy per minute if you tap absolutely everything like a robot, which is why we use a robot to do it. But uh, that's you know that one tan candy per tap, so a thousand candies equals a thousand taps. So because one candy per tap was bad, they let us tap five times to get one candy, effectively. And it's a one time a day bonus. It's like... It's almost the worst thing they could have done other than, like, a deliberately attempt to make it worse. It's kind of like, eh. I appreciate that they, like, you know... I do think tying it into the daily mission, like, that, that was an alright idea, but, you know... Make it so that, for one thing, the daily mission already tied into it, though, because the Spirit of Life was one of the most effective tools to, uh, to get candy. And the funny thing is, so the, the whole point of the removing Song of the Moon thing is, oh, they want you to watch these ads instead of tapping, basically. And you have to watch four, or how many, how many things would you have to watch? Yeah, 403... 430 ads, yeah. Sorry, that's, that's very simple math. I just... Been a long week. Uh, so, but the thing is, to cast Song of the Moon, you use this recharge skill button that's already an ad. I... 90% of the ads that I've watched in this game, they've been charged... Song of the Moon recharge ad watches. That's that's why I watched ads. That's... this. this, this that was the one thing I watched ads for, and now I don't watch ads anymore at all. And that, it's partially a boycott, but it's kind of a boycott of convenience, because like, I haven't been playing the game anyway, so, you know, well, why would I even bother to watch an ad if I'm not even going to play it at all? So, 
I do think it was a good idea to, to try to tie in the daily mission. If you look at um, Potion Maker is a game that does kind of what the Valentine's Day event tried to do so much better. So if you haven't played Potion Maker, what they do for events, usually, they have mix-ups in events where like every maybe three or four events or something a little different, like you have to wake up the character 30 times and you get you know an outfit. And sometimes you, there's a little mini game they put in there instead of the regular event. But the regular event is a semi gashapon where what you do is they have these requests and you need to do 15 or 30 requests to get an outfit. But the thing is, the gashapon is like a secondary layer. So in that game, you can get fairies if the if there's like a 30% chance every time you send it out to get one of the fairies. And there's only one in most events, so I mean, you're basically guaranteed it as long as you even try. But the thing about the 15 and 30 uh, things to get the outfit, if you send out 30 times, you're guaranteed to get the outfit. Uh, the Gashapon is only for the fairy, and basically the only random thing is exactly what level the fairy will end up being. So, you're pretty much guaranteed to get the outfit as long as you do the thing enough times. You're guaranteed to get the fairy. It's just, will you get high enough, you know, level? And getting them to max level isn't really feasible, no matter what you do. So, I, I really like that because it's, you know, the, the random element is not really significant. I, I am increasingly skeptical in, in disliking random elements in games, especially when it's related to any kind of monetization model. That's... I mean, that's just gambling. That's just gambling. But, yeah. Um, I do think they could do better events. Another thing that does good events, for the most part, is Animal Crossing Pocket Camp, who is also on my crap list lately, because they added loot boxes to that game, so I stopped playing that for for the most part now. Uh, I'm... I still kind of like the gyroid event that they put in. It's kind of like a hide-and-go-seek kind of deal, and you get little... It's like more like a scavenger hunt than side and go seek. You just go around and find the things and you craft stuff with them. Uh, but they, they they tend to do a good job of mixing up how they do events. And it's like the, if they just wanted, if they genuinely just wanted to do a different way of events, there's so many things they could have done. But making it drastically slower, more expensive, and a paid gosh upon uh, that you can pay ten dollars to partially skip past. Uh, it's called the money grab. That's not n n nothing. Nothing really to do with making it more fun. Easier and more fun, they said. Anyway, that's that's about all there is to say on this. Um, I will say that the, the next updates—they've been very predictable. The last time they added new fish to the game was January 2017. Uh, new normal fish, you know, fish that show up in this tab. So. Next month, I'm guessing we're going to get maybe the krill farm finally. We had three crab farm updates, basically. So I'm expecting we'll get the krill farm next month. And then we'll get another krill update. And then probably the second anniversary event. Which, <sighs> the, 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 con the thought of how they're going to handle the, the anniversary event, which was already a train wreck the first time. But how they're going to follow that after the Valentine's Day event, I'm not looking forward to it. But I hope they've listened to the complaints. I, I will say again, they did change things more than I thought they would. But it's possible they meant to alternate the Valentine's Day event with like the old style of events. So it's possible we'll just get the same old garbage next time. Or the same Valentine's Day garbage specifically. Uh, but... Yeah, I. There's no faith or trust I can really put in the game at this point. I'll just have to see if it sucks, and uh, if it sucks, I'll make a video showing why and what, if anything, you can do about it by Song of the Moon. Um, yeah, pretty much it. See you when there's a new update, I guess. Uh, I did have a couple ideas for other videos, like you know. It's sort of event ranking and stuff, but uh, not 100% sure I'll do those. I, a lot of people do ask for more videos, and I gotta tell you, I've done over 85 Abyssrium videos. I, I can almost guarantee that... Um, Parker, would you please stop doing that? Um, 
I can almost guarantee everyone that asked me to do more videos on Abyssrium has not seen all of them because like I've covered everything in the game pr pretty exhaustively. I even, there's even a video where I literally just go through every UI element in the game and just show you what everything does because a lot of people are like, wait, customization menu, what's that now? So yeah, when, the, when there's stuff to talk about, I'll talk about it. Do not worry. Oh, I hate that notification thing that it does. Let me guess, that's Abyssrium telling me that, oh no, it's Makai Wars. I thought I disabled that. I hate notifications. On my real phone, first thing I do, any app I get, I disable notifications the moment I get one. Or I uninstall the app, but Android makes it really easy to, you just pull right on the notification a little bit, and there's a little gear you press, and you can just disable all notification from the app. I love it. I hate notifications. Um, good way to reduce your stress level. Disable all the notifications you don't need. With that life tip, I'm out. See you, I'm guessing in just like a week or two, there'll be some fusion fish update. They really like those fusion fish. I don't really understand. The fusion fish don't really, this just, they don't cut it for me as much anymore. I would just like some normal fish just that I don't have to grind, you know, 1800 billion crabs for. Just, just get me some new, you know, get me some parrot fish. I don't know, who cares? But yeah, good night everybody.